Hello viewers, welcome to my technological world, your own YouTube tech channel. If you are new here, uh, please consider subscribing the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified every video we release on this channel. Now in this video today we will talk about uh, the upcoming Motorola Moto G7. A Moto G7 specs listed has leaked on how to tech ninja revealing that uh, the phone will apparently have a 6.4 inch full HD screen, a 3500 mAh battery, a dual lens rear camera with 16 megapixel and 5 megapixel lenses, a 12 megapixel front facing camera, an octa core chipset, 4 GB of RAM, 64 GB of storage, a fingerprint scanner and Android 9 Pie. If accurate, that means a bigger screen and battery than the Moto G6 different cameras and a newer version of Android. They show a teardrop notch uh, which makes uh, for a big visual difference as the Moto G6 doesn't have a notch. However, there is still a sizable bezel at the bottom of the screen. The back meanwhile is apparently made of curved glass and uh, you can see the dual lens camera and dual LED flash. There is also a fingerprint scanner on the rear rather than the front facing one on the Moto G6 while a 3.5 mm headphone jack sits on the bottom edge. Finally, dimensions are said to be 157 by 75.3 by 8 mm, rising to 9.5 mm at the camera bump. Of course, uh, this is all just rumors and leaks for now, so take it with a pinch of salt. We don't know anything about the Moto G7 at the moment precisely, but based on our usage of the Moto G6 family, we have put together a few thoughts on what we feel the future should hold for the next main incarnation of the handset. The LCD versus Emold wars have raged on for some time now, but for pure crowd pleasing color, nothing can beat Emold, of course typically reserved for uh, more expensive devices if Lenovo were able to bring a good panel with infinite blacks and excellent contrast and sunlight legibility to the G7, it would be a considerable cop. Having increased contrast and color is not only more pleasing to the eye, it also makes content more immersive which would seriously benefit uh, the earlier move in 2018 to a larger display size. Having a mold also allows for a glance screen to be implemented and more. Overall, it is a very nice value add on. The two camera craze has brought with it a wide and wacky range of options for budding mobile photographers. From black and white sensors to telephoto zooms and wide angle lenses manufacturers have a fun bag of trick to play with. Well, so it's a slight shame that in the Moto G6, this second sensor is used merely for them. The Moto G line has never been the home of those expecting the absolute utmost in photographic quality from their mobile snappers. Instead, it has offered respectable output and performance in most situations. However, the competition from the likes of uh, Xiaomi is really heating up in this regard and uh, the time has come to really make a break and produce something interesting. Now what does this mean? Better processing, a more refined camera app which works as quickly as those of the competition, better low light performance through the introduction of optical images uh, stabilization all within Lenovo's grasp and all to the benefits of the consumers wherever it is one or all of the chosen. The Moto G name is almost synonymous with the Snapdragon 400 series of chips which has been used in most models since its inception. As the price has crept up uh, however, so have the demand of the market and the consumer leaving the Snapdragon 450 included with the G6 feeling slightly weary. In, uh, in comparison to some rivals. So for example, the Nokia 6.1 2018 includes the now popular Snapdragon 630 chipset, which offers in increased energy, efficiency, and of course power over the 450 included in the G6. Moving to the slightly more powerful options would boost the premium fast feel of the handset. 
improved its longevity and benefits to overall experience of using it. Here are some other specifications about Motorola Moto G7 which we uh, discussed. Front back glass aluminum frame, IPS LCD capacitive touch screen 16M colors, resolution of 1080 by 2340, 19.5 by 9 ratio, Corning Gorilla Glass 4, Android 9.0, micro SD up to 256 GB dedicated slot, internal memory 64 GB and 4 GB of RAM, 16 megapixel camera, 5 megapixel front facing camera 2.2 depth sensor vibration mp3 wave ringtones uh, pretty standard usb 2.0 type c 1.0 reversible connectors fingerprint front mounted fast battery charging 15 watt photo and video editor document viewer, non-removable 3500 mAh battery, the colors are black and red. Now again about the disclaimer we are not responsible nor guarantee that uh, all of the information on this video is 100% accurate because uh, these are just the rumors and leaks. So if you like this video please uh, hit the thumbs up and uh, subscribe our channel like the video, share it with your friends and family and be happy. Take care. Bye-bye.